Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Kaylee. Today's video is all of my winter must-haves. We have some lifestyle, clothing and beauty stuff to talk about today. Before we jump into this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Okay, so if you'd like to see all of my winter must-haves and favorites, then keep on watching. So starting off with the beauty portion of this video, I'll start with some skincare. So I have the Laneige Sleeping Lip Mask. I have it in the scent, the peppermint scent and vanilla. I do believe that the peppermint scent was a limited edition Christmas one. So I'm not sure if it's still available to get now, but if you can get your hands on it, it is a really nice scent. I don't usually love peppermint scents, but I do really like this. It's not too strong, but still has that cozy, fresh peppermint scent to it. And it feels really nice to apply to the lips. It gives kind of like that cooling effect. And yeah, just a really nice lip mask. And then the vanilla Vanilla scent I believe is like an all year round scent so you'll definitely be able to find this one but again a really nice scent it's not too strong very subtle feels so nice on the lips so yeah these Laneige lip masks are definitely worth it especially during the winter when our lips are getting a little more dry I feel like you need to have a good lip sleeping mask to hydrate the lips I just keep this on my nightstand and apply it every night and I feel like it does a really good job at hydrating my lips so definitely give these ones a try if you haven't they have so many scents now as well so lots to choose from then next is a toning mist so this is from fresh the rose instant hydration mist I've been loving this especially during the winter I feel like my face has needed a little bit more hydration than usual so this has been really nice to go in with after I do after I cleanse my skin and before my serums and moisturizers and all that usually when I get out of the shower my skin just kind of dries up so I've been spraying this on and it just instantly hydrates and leaves my skin feeling really nice and hydrated so a really nice toning spray. Next is a makeup product. I just have one makeup product to talk about today. So this is the Rare Beauty liquid blush in the shade Hope. I've really been enjoying this shade during the winter. It's like a nice mauve sort of pink color, not too dark, not too bright, not too light. I just feel like it's the perfect winter sort of scent. So I've really loved going in with this lately. It's easy to apply. I feel like it blends out so nicely. I do also feel like it leaves a bit of like a glow on my skin as well. So I love that, especially if my skin is feeling a little more dry. I feel like this just makes it look nice and glowy and more alive. Then next I'll talk about my nails. These are glue on nails. They're from the brand Glamnetic. I got them. The I believe it's called Red Affair is this color. So it's got like the glittery red French tip. I got these because I really wanted to get some Christmassy nails, but I wasn't finding time to probably go and get my nails done. So I saw these in Sephora and I was like, they're perfect, exactly what I want. So I picked them up and yeah, they've stayed on pretty well there. It has been a few that have popped off, but for the most part, they've stayed on pretty good and have lasted almost two weeks. So yeah, really nice nails. They have obviously lots of different colors to choose from. I just got these ones for Christmas and for New Year's as well. I felt like they were perfect. But yeah, really nice glue on nails, super easy to apply and a lot more affordable than getting your nails actually done at the salon. Then moving on to some body care. So the first thing is from Biosense, the 100% squalane oil. I guess this, this is also a face or body product. I personally use it as a body product. So I love mixing this with my body creams. I feel like it just adds so much more hydration. If my skin is feeling a little more dry and tight and just needs an extra bit of hydration, I won't put, put this on in the morning when I apply my cream, just at night before I go to bed, just for some added hydration. You can definitely use this on the face if you just feel like you need some extra hydration, if you have any dry spots, just kind of using it as a sleeping oil mask, I feel like would be a good option for it. But yeah, really nice product. And then some body cream. So the first, you can hear the little jingle bell, it's so cute. But this is from Hems. It's their Vanilla Frost Mountain Herbal Body Moisturizer. It's one of their holiday scents. I love this scent. It just smells like vanilla, like butter cream cake or something. So I've loved putting this on. It's just such a nice scent. It glides on my skin, melts into my skin so nicely. and just does a really good job at hydrating my skin. And they have good ingredients in them as well. They're said to be vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free. They've got lots of vitamins, nutrients, natural proteins, fatty acids, lots of good ingredients in them. And yeah, Hemp's just has really nice moisturizers. I haven't tried a lot of their scents. I've only tried like their special limited edition ones that they come out with, but I'm really enjoying them so far. And it's pretty affordable for how big the bottle is as well. So definitely a nice option. I just picked this up on Amazon. And then some more body cream. So this is from Fenty Skin. This is their mini whipped oil body butter trio. 
So it comes with three in here. I kept the box because I just thought it was really cute. I love the colors of it. But as you can see, it comes with the three different ones here. So the purple one is their original scent that they have. And then this one here is Warm Cinnamon Shimmering, it's called. And then the pink one is Vanilla Dream Shimmering. So I have used these. I just am keeping them in the box just to kind of keep them all together. But it comes with the three mini versions. I believe these two are limited edition for the holidays, but this is their like they have all year round. They might still have these in stores, but they're really nice scents. So this is the vanilla one. I haven't actually used the vanilla one yet, but like look how thick and creamy it is. Like it looks so nice. I love the scents for these. They're not too strong. These two limited edition ones, they leave a bit of a shimmer on your skin as well, which I love. It just smells so good. I've used this one. It's so nice. Like, just feels so nice to apply. It melts into the skin. The original one is kind of like a... Oops, I just got it on my nose. Whoops. <laughs> Anyways, this one is described as tropical fruits and flower scented. So a really nice scent, very light and fresh. They also just have really nice ingredients, lots of different oils in them. Coconut, jojoba, glycerin, all the nice hydrating ingredients. I do find with these ones that they do take a little longer to dry down than what other creams do that I have, but they're worth it. Like they smell great, they feel great, and just really nice moisturizers. I do feel like the original one will be more a summer scent for me, so I'm probably going to wait till the summertime to use this one, but definitely the cinnamon and vanilla scents, definitely winter scents. Again, I'm not sure if these are still available. I hope they are because they're so good and I feel like everyone needs to get their hands on them. Then the last thing in the beauty category, I've spoken about this a million times before, but it's the Zara Red Temptation perfume in winter. So they do have different editions. They have a spring, I think it no, they have a summer version, a normal version, and then the winter version. I love the original version and the winter one. Wasn't a huge fan of the summer one. It was a bit too floral for me, but the winter one is my all-time favorite. Such a warm, cozy scent. This is definitely for you if you're more into like woody, earthy, spicy sort of scents. It's not at all floral, not at all fruity. It's definitely on the spicier, woody, warmer side. So really nice perfume. I love it. It's my go-to everyday perfume. I have like four bottles I think I stocked up on this year because I love it so much. And yeah, it's just my everyday perfume that I wear. I do feel like it's also a really nice nighttime going out scent. I also feel like this lasts the whole day as well. I can still smell it at the end of the day. And yeah, it's just a really nice one. And the bottle's pretty big. It's 80 mils and I think it's like $40. So such a good size and everything for the price. So that's all for beauty. Moving on to some lifestyle things. So I just have two things here. First is my Kindle. I have been loving this during the fall and the winter. I love cozying up on the couch with my blanket and reading with like a tea or something and reading on my Kindle. It just feels so nice and cozy and I love how small it is. I love that I can just throw it in my bag, take it on the bus, the train, whatever, and read it if I feel like reading on my way to work or school or something. And yeah, I just love that all my books are here in one place. It just takes up so much less space than actually having the book. So I love it. And I also, I got this case that goes on it. And I feel like that just added even more to the experience just because it does feel like I'm actually opening up and holding a book now. So yeah, definitely love the case as well. I did also get the case from Amazon as well. So both on Amazon, easy to pick up, pretty affordable. And yeah, just a really nice option if you're not wanting to carry books around or like have books taking up lots of space in your house or apartment. So yeah, really been enjoying my Kindle. The next thing is a bit of a random thing, but I picked this up from Amazon. It is a bath table so it has extensions here that you pull out that you just put on the bath so it comes out at both ends and then there's a space here for your phone and then here you can do like your laptop or ipad it has like a thing that lifts up so you can rest it on the back here and then there's a little cup holder here so it even has like for you to slide in the stem of your wine glass and have your wine glass here so you can have wine, have tea, whatever it is you want to have in the bath. This is honestly like one of my favorite Amazon purchases. I've been loving this, especially during like the fall, the winter, cooler weather. Been loving cozying up in the bath, 
watching Grey's Anatomy on my laptop, having some tea, and yeah, it's just been a really nice experience and it's pretty affordable too. So definitely get yourself one of these if you enjoy having baths as well. I just feel like it adds so much more to the experience and it's become one of my favorite ways to just sort of wind down if I'm feeling like I've been super busy and just haven't had a whole lot of time to relax. This has just been a really nice way to relax and wind down at the end of the day. So highly recommend getting yourself a bath table. Moving on to some clothing. So the first thing are my Ugg boot dupes. So these are, I don't even know how to say the brand. It has like the label here at the back, but I have been loving these dupes. They are honestly, you can't even tell they're not the real thing until you like actually read the back here, but the quality of them are so nice. It even has like the warm fuzzy material inside them as well. And I got the ones that have the smaller platform and yeah, I've just been loving these such good quality for the price point. I picked these ones up from Etsy. I think they were only like, I want to say like $60 as opposed to what, like $200 for the real thing. And in my opinion, they're just as good, just as good quality and they feel the, honestly the exact same on my feet. So these are really, really nice. Definitely have a look on Etsy for some ugly dupes because there's so many different kinds on there as well. The next thing is some pajamas. So I just have the top here because I'm actually wearing the bottoms right now. <laughs> but these are some pajamas I picked up from Amazon. I believe they were like 40 to $50. I don't really remember. Pretty affordable. They're really nice quality. I love the material. It's so comfy and soft and just smooth. I personally don't sleep in these. I don't like sleeping in long pajamas, but these have become my like lounge around the house sort of outfit. So yeah, really nice. They have lots of different colors. I got them in like the darker gray ones and it has like the pink trimming around them which i thought was a super cute touch but they have lots of different colors so yeah a really nice affordable pajama option for the winter then next another cozy piece this is my robe i have it in a pink color as you can see but i absolutely love this it's so warm it's it's like a blanket it's very like fluffy soft material it's just so cozy and i love the color of it as well it's also just from amazon so super affordable they have lots of different colors on there as well and really nice quality for the price i did wash it the first time i got it as well just to make sure there was no little like bits or anything that would fall off and i haven't had any problems with that and also when i washed it it didn't change the softness of it or anything like that so yeah, really nice quality and just perfect for cozying up in the winter time. And the next thing I'll talk about is a coat from Zara. So I'll put a picture of it here for you guys of me wearing it. But I have been loving this winter coat. It's become my favorite winter jacket to wear. I wear it to work every single day. It's just such nice quality, pretty affordable for a jacket like this as well. It's got really nice lining on the inside and just it looks really nice. I feel like I can dress it up or dress it down and it goes with any sort of look. So I love that. And it's also really warm as well i was surprised at how warm it actually is i think because it has like the lining inside that helps kind of trap in the heat so super warm really nice quality and pretty affordable price as well so highly recommend looking at some zara jackets they did have it in i think gray and it might have been a beigey color. I did think about picking up one of the other colors, but I just stuck with the black one for now. Really nice option if you're looking for a new winter jacket that you can kind of wear for any sort of occasion. Okay guys, so that is all of my winter must-haves that I'm gonna talk about today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and seeing all of the things that I have been loving and using and will continue using throughout the winter. Let me know if you've used any of these products or if you have any recommendations for products you think I might love throughout the winter as well. But as always, thank you so much for being here and for watching this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.